Uh, I know it's our own fault, and he's now, now Louis van Gaal, to come. Yeah. He, he regrets it, now we're asking all the Dutchers well, to come. <laughs> too late. A little bit late. We'll get the higher cards no. Yeah, so therefore, it's, it's, and I think that also the English, you know, when they, after the game, the last game, they were so happy with their own fans. Yeah, yeah. I but think you know, that everybody is... But there's more Brazilians it, and Argentinians, it yeah. feels like. Mexicans as well. Mexicans, yeah. Isn't that part of their DNA, what they're doing, yeah. Yeah. Brazil? I mean, that's what yeah. we expect to see a Brazil side do with the fans yeah. dancing and doing that yeah. samba and everything. But also, uh, the other day, when uh, Japan, you know, it was fantastic yeah. to see, and the Koreans with and their the fans, Koreans, yeah. you know, it was almost, it, it felt the emotion, really, how much it... In, how, how much it means for the fans to do well in the world. It would be terrible if we never saw Brazil do that. No. It would be terrible. It wouldn't be right. It wouldn't seem right no. in, in the Argentinians. It's all part for me of a People's World Cup. Yeah. It's the idea that was initially suggested that, that we could embrace in this manner. And I think it's been absolutely wonderful. As long as it's not rubbing the opposition's face in it, which I don't think that is for a minute, do which? you? That's no, just them. I think it's just the Brazilians enjoying their night. They would be doing that against any team. Yeah. To beat Argentina and to beat England if they beat well, anybody. We've seen them on the coach pre-match. They're yeah. doing this before they even <laughs> step foot in the dressing room, <laughs> yeah. aren't they? That's what I'm saying. It's so, a, that's the DNA. I, yeah. I remember, I mean, Gabriel Heinz, I said this a couple of weeks ago, he used to wear an Argentinian shirt under his Manchester United shirt <laughs> and Anderson would charge out of the dressing room to get away from United to go on the plane to play for Brazil. They, there's something they have, that yeah. shirt, that that responsibility. In, in Argentina, I feel like, and in Brazil, the country is the most important mm -hmm. thing, whereas in England, club football club, is the yeah, most important absolutely. thing. You know, Manchester United, Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, whatever your club is, is the most important thing. And then country comes next. Yeah. It's the other way around, yeah. I feel, in, the, in, in, in Brazil and Argentina. Mind you, in Anderson's case, he might have just been in a Russian case to change their mind. But fair. Harsh, yeah. but maybe fair. <laughs> but maybe fair. The Dutch shirt has a history, obviously. Yes, with the national team, yeah. It's, you know, in the past we saw clubs and the fans going out and, you know, hooliganism. And with the national team we never had that. National team has always been a party, always been you know fantastic. We, everybody loves the orange to come everywhere. Is club more important than country in Holland? Would you say? You know the thing is that the club didn't do that well in Europe, mm. no. <laughs> so therefore it's a different but way. The Ajax fans love their club more than their country. Is, is, is no, I, I don't think so. I think that the national team. I think that is our biggest brand in the world is the orange. Orange, yeah. Mm -hmm. I it's think that, that is a good example though, because he, he doesn't like Ajax. Oh, no. No. No, I I I Lucky, sorry, no, it's Lucky not my club. Ajax. We should give them not my club. Me. Lucky it's, Ajax. it's 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 I when they come in the European uh, Champions League I want them to win. It's not like him. He hates Liverpool for no, instance. Quite. He hates it. He in, from the guts really. <laughs> you can see it. You know he's nervous when I speak you know <laughs> but that's you know this a rivalry that you need yeah. to have, and I think that you know, you're right. The English uh, Premier League is so important in mm. football in general. Yeah. It's, I think it's the biggest competition in the world. And do you think also, the big leagues in Europe would feel that? I mean, do you think the Italian fans would think their clubs? Do you think the Spanish, do you think Real no. Madrid fans, for instance, think their clubs more important than? I Spain? think so. Yeah. I think they do. Yeah. But because and Barcelona, Barcelona think, as well, yeah, because yeah. their regions, you know, I think you know if it's you're a different at the way. bigger clubs, Bayern Munich, do they think? Do they think more of their, their club than they do of the German national team? Mm, Don't no, know. No, no. But I think the big leagues are more like what the Premier League, what Gary was saying yes. about the Premier League. Because yeah. when, when I come back here and you leave, you go back home and everybody goes, oh, no league football for another month. What yeah, are we going yeah. to do? Yeah. And that's the way it is in, the, in England. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. I, 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 I agree with that. And, uh, so therefore, but the Dutch, yeah, the Orange is, is our brand, you know. You're right, when there's an international break with, with England, the Premier League, the fans say, yeah. oh, they don't know what you do. They're devastated. <laughs> they're, the, 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 they're England it's games, true. and and that the Premier League has stopped. Yeah. It's a mentality through the whole country. But look, I mean, everyone's behind England in this World Cup, yeah. and we get up for it. And you can see like the celebrations last night when England were winning. But it just for the Brazilians and the Argentinians, it's almost like it defines their lives. Their mm -hmm. whole existence is their country. You know, I think for Brazilians like Neymar, for Messi, for Messi to lift the World Cup, it surpasses everything he's achieved. Oh. It's a, it's but also everything. because of history. Yeah, yeah, it's history. Yes, yeah. Yeah, because of history. That's the reason why. It's Pele. It's yeah, Maradona. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. history. It's and the Dutchies are due one. To be fair, I mean, what? You're, you're overdue one. A win. Can you beat Argentina? 
I think we can. We did it already once in the World Cup in France, I think we did. Mm. So therefore, it's not that we are afraid of them. I think you of may course have, you have I think Messi. You may have had a team then. Yeah, but you don't have a, you know, they have a Messi, we know that. The thing is, uh, at the moment, we are less, we, we give less about the beauty of the game that we always had, like the Brazilians. We have a certain way that we want to play football. So therefore, it's, it's odd. Um, I, I don't know. We have been three times in the final, yeah. and it hurts. Three times in the One final. One of those three, you knew you were not going to win, though, didn't you? No, that Argentina, Argentina. Argentina yeah. Yeah. There was no way the no Dutch way, were winning no, that. no, no, no. They did everything. You know, what are you I, trying to say? Because we couldn't. You remember also the semi-finals should have been played on the same time, but it wasn't. Ah. <laughs> so the Argentina knew how many goals they had to score against Peru. I think they got six, didn't they? Yes, that yes, exactly handy. what they needed. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's strange yeah, yeah, and it was yeah. not played Sometimes on the same time. Do in football. Where was, was the 78 World Cup held? <laughs> how do you stop? How do you, how do how do the Dutch stop Messi in terms of obviously you've got Van Dijk, you've got um, you got Ake, you've got uh, Ake, I think Timber. They tr- Timber, yeah. I think they just trust on the defence, how it is. They didn't trust it in the four, but they trusted more in the five. They did it better. Uh, they didn't concede a lot of goals, you know, and I think that that is the issue at the moment. It's not how we think how we have to play football, but that's what it is. You had a, a good a discussion about what England should do in the mm. next game. Mm-hmm. You think you have to go with the five then? Maybe. Only for Mbappe, Maybe. yeah. yeah so, and, and, and we play already you like play with that. Five, yeah. yeah, it's not the way we want, but okay. And we, the the good thing is we can always change to the four. So three, it's three. not the way who wants. The way the, the Dutch, Dutch people in general, the journalists and everything, how we want to play the football, but. It's, it's a reality. And every time you read in a newspaper, ooh, if we lose this, ooh, we lose a legacy. Ooh, if we lose this, <laughs> we lose a legacy. That's the only thing. So, Van Gaal needs to win. What if you win it, playing the way that Van Gaal I think, does? Does that I, I think I will be very happy. everything? No, I, I will be very, very happy because we have been uh, uh, playing for the beauty. In 74, it started with that. And uh, we lost in the final. Mm-hmm. Every time against the team that played at home, eh? First, uh, uh, Germany played at home, they won it. Argentina played at home. Won it. The only one who we thought <coughs> that we could nick was in, Brazil, mm. was in uh, South Africa. If Robert fell, you know Robert f- fells a lot, eh? he always, you yeah. know. <laughs> so, and he didn't do it. Cruyff, if that happened. Cruyff is generally seen as the father of Dutch football, and he gave who? you 4 3 3. Cruyff. 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 Mm, it, it, is, it, is, is that a motivation for Van Gaal to rewrite? Everything that that he, if he won this, no. would be seen to be so. Mm, oh, Van Gaal be. plays four three three. Uh, has played four three three a lot of his life, hasn't he? Yes, with Ajax and yeah, with Barcelona, Ajax. with uh, Bayern Munich, yeah. all these. Th- the only thing he made a mistake, I think, was when he was doing well in the in the in the World Cup in Brazil with a five in the back and yeah. everything. He wanted to go to Manchester. He did the same thing, I, I, and I, it didn't I, work. I was just going to say. I mean, I think. Is, Look, I wasn't the biggest fan of him at Old Trafford for his football. I thought it was a little bit passive. But I look at the team he's got here now. I think it's the only way the Dutch probably can progress is because they've That's got what he thinks the, as well. The best defender, the well. best players are the defenders. Mm-hmm. De Ligt, Timber, Ake, Van Dijk, Dumfries, Blind. Probably yeah. th- other than De Jong, they're probably the best players yeah. are the defenders. Yeah, they don't have outstanding strikers. We don't have it. We have uh, Frankie de Jong in the midfield, who's very, very good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, but the, for the rest, it's all—it's not the highest, highest level that we always had, especially uh, uh, up front. Nevertheless, uh, I think we've done but maybe maybe that well. is a way because uh, I keep listening to people who talk about teams that win competitions like this. And yes, it's it's people who <coughs> score goals that, that get the goals. But everyone keeps saying, and everyone would, it's who I've spoken to says yes. But you won't win this tournament if your de- your, your defence isn't rock solid. Yeah. And exactly. it's arguably yeah. one of the best two defences in the in the competition. Yeah. Then you're not going to win it. Brazil so have a rock solid defence. Yeah, I, I think have so. They? Oh, yeah, they're good. Didn't I like need them. it tonight, did they? No, I like it I like Brazil. The offensive, mm-hmm. but the also you were concerned before the tournament also about the English defence, mm-hmm. and I think they did, did well tonight. They've done well so far. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have. think Brazil's defence would win then the World Cup or what yes. they've got going forward? I, I like the defence. I, re- I really do. Yeah, but, but separate it. Do you think the Brazil defence would win them the World Cup or do you think what they've got offensively 
would win them the World Cup. Oh, look, the, 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 the off for both. both. The both. Off in which both, case, eh? you don't need a rock solid defence. Yeah, you if do. you've got I as many you good do. players as Everyone they have tells me you do. to go and win football matches, you don't really necessarily need you 